two queens stand before us, but which one of these wins? What's up everybody? Welcome back. My name's Charlie Kin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to be op opening one of these boxes. So this is going to be a two-parter. I'm going to open one box today and uh, you'll see the next one in a couple of days time. I thought it'd be good to see which one of these wins because Shining Fates has got superb pull rates. However, Hidden Fates also has full art GXs, which I prefer. This set wins in my opinion. However, they are both great sets and if you can get hold of either of these Elite Trainer boxes, you know you should. So, I think today we're gonna to start with Shining Fates and um, then on the next video, we will go to the next one and see how Hidden Fates does. Uh, ooh, 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 so exciting. So hopefully you guys have, got, uh, have been able to get some of these and you're enjoying your pulls. Those who watch my channel, goodbye shiny face, player's guide. Those who watch my channel will know that there's only one card that I really want in this set. It is that Ditto, the shiny Ditto V. I pulled that stupid Ditto V, the normal one, way too many times. I've got the V Max, don't need it. But what I do need, what I do need is that Ditto V. So we should have 10 packs. I'm gonna check these because some people have only received nine in their boxes. So um, that's pretty poor. There is a little promo here, which I will show you. The EV VMAX. It's a very, very nice card. A lot of people do love that. Um, in my opinion, not as good as the, what's the other one? The Hidden Fates one. The Moltres Articuno Zapdos. That is way better. But we are here for these packs. So let me know in the comments, which one do you think is gonna win? Uh, do check back in a couple of days time. Um, go on my social media. I'll obviously put it on there when the next video is out, but we will start with Shining Fates. We want a Ditto, come on Ditto. Um, I'd also be happy with any of the full art trainers. They are really, really cool cards. We're gonna start the day with Dark Energy. It's lighting. Floatzel, Tropius, let me just move the energy there. Ball Guy. Spinarak, Snom the Bomb Pokemon, Horsey, Rowlet, Morpeko, Thwacky, Reverse Holographic, and a Yan Mega. So nothing major there in that first pack. We've got a Toxtricity. I'm really hoping that I can find the Ditto soon. And um, you know, Shiny Fates is good. I don't really want to buy too much more. Um, I haven't got into a lot of Battle Styles Leaf. There is obviously a lot of cards in Battle Style set, which is a really good card and look fun to pull. Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey. And I do hope that, you know, we can find one of those. There's Ball Guy, love the Ball Guy. And Ball Guy, it's a double Ball Guy. We love to see it. Ball Guy, I have got this card in Japanese, but I really like it. It's derpy, some people hate it, but this guy embodies everything that Pokemon should be. Smiles, not balls. So, ah, oh, sleeves. I was so excited about doing this video today. Absolutely forgot to uh, to get sleeves, like I very regularly do. Ball guy, well done, great pull. And centering looks pretty good. Happy with that one. So I do like the fact that it was double ball guy, so we'll put uh, the reverse holographic next to it just for fun. Good start. Very happy with that. Completely lost my train of thought about what we were talking about, but that's fine. Uh, I think I was talking about battle styles and the fact that I haven't got into much of that. So I definitely want to get some more on the channel, but then you've got Chilling Rain. That is only a couple of months away now. The pack art for that came out recently. It looks very, very cool. And there is going to be some terrific cards in that set. So definitely one to look out for. Spinner Act, Goozle, Rowlet, Trap Inch, Bum, Manfi. And a Greedent V. Greedent we have got before. The weird little squirrel Pokemon. With his attack crunch. Crunchy nut. Ooh. I like Shiny Face. I do like it. I love the pull rates of it. I think the pull rates are really, really cool. What? <laughs> okay, so the two, those two to the back. We're gonna do that. Uh, fire, leaf, team yell towel. 
upside down Thwacky. I thought it'd be better to leave him this way. Tropius, Spinarak, Bum, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Thwacky. So an upside down Thwacky and a Thwacky the right way up. This is the second one, uh, not the second one, but the, the next starter that I have now pulled because I have not pulled Sobble. So I've got Score Bunny, we've got Thwacky. I'm very pleased with that. You can go in there and actually, I oh know the edge is rough. I was uh, starting to wonder, yeah, you can see there, it's pretty rough. It looks like this was almost a perfect card. Now I don't think there is one in these baby shinies. So good luck to anybody trying to get a PSA 10. And um, obviously if you are thinking about PSA, you've got a long wait because PSA have, uh, have just announced that they are shutting shop. They have had too many cards. They announced a price change and uh, card grading had gone up, which is fine. You know, there, there's a lot of cards that they need to grade. Um, it makes sense that people obviously profiting off the value of PSA that they want a little bit of that because they do the hard work. However, what that does mean is Yam Mega Reverse Holographic. Another Greedent. Go away, you nutty Pokemon. You can go over there. What it does mean is train of thought, Charlie. Yes, they've had to shut shop. They put the prices up and people went mental. They uh, they said in a statement that they received more cards. Hey, look, it's done it again. Three time, three cards this time, all upside down. That's a weird thing. Uh, they received more cards in three days than they did in the previous three months uh, before the price change. So that's quite a lot of cards. Um, apparently Pokemon only accounts for about 20% of that as well. So it's a lot of sports cards as well. Uh, fighting water so we've got an upside down gym trainer upside down floatzel upside down team yell towel due to all the right way up hanging out nick it grookey yanma morpeko reshiram amazing rare absolutely love to see that and a luxray holographic oh this card feels nice and textured the whole way oh let's look at this very very nice card we can get the uh texturing yeah there we go Thanks, lighting. That looks really cool. Really, really happy with that. Brush around's pretty neat. Uh, what does it mean for PSA being closed? Well, they have such a backlog of cards that they need to clear them. And it's probably gonna be till about July that they're closed. So all of the UK places, if you look into grade cards, um, you'll have to look elsewhere. There are other grading companies. There are some that started up in the UK. Personally, I would still go PSA and just wait it out. Um, fire because PSA is the original if you I mean you could go to CGC or uh, Beckett but they have uh, they are now starting to get equally long waiting times because everybody's trying to get their cards graded Gossifleur, Rowlet, Cufont, Bum and a Celebi Ditto where are you come on we've got to find it we have got to find it what is that? Just gonna, gonna carefully do the card trick. Uh, PSA grading leaf. I said leaf, way too many times metal. Team towel, wacky. I've really lost my train of thought. Uh, Gossip Fleur, Cacnea. I've got cards still away from July 2020. So there's still a huge wait for, for cards. They're, they're just so far behind. Spinarak. It's a Grim Snarl. Oh, I thought it was the Charizard, but that's fine. We've pulled this guy before, but it's still super cool to find him again. A very, very cool looking card. And Professor's Research. Oh, I did wonder. I was like, yeah, is it? No. Grim Snarl. Still a cool card though. Texturing is wicked. You can see the uh, the swirls on that card. And it looks really well centered as well. So if you like Grim Snarl, there's one for you. Two more packs remaining. Yes, July is when I sent a load of cards in. Still waiting for them to come back. I'm um, hoping within the next couple of months they will be when PSA catch up a bit. bit uh, dark, water energy. There's our friend Ball Guy. Floats all, Team Yell Towel. Shinx. Coughing. Wait, 
the pure volume of cars that PSA must have is crazy. And there's, uh, there's obviously a lot of frustrated people as well because uh, they want their cards back or they're sending things in and I, I, I just want, I want it. Give it to me so I can sell them. But some people are obviously getting them to sell and to flip, which is fine and fair enough. They clearly didn't realize that it was gonna take this long. So, I mean, if you're looking to buy cards, especially in graded form, it might be one to actually wait that out as well. Because when we start getting a couple of months down the line and there's more cards available, there's going to be a lot of cards in the market. There really is. And, oh, a Suicune. Yes. Love to see that. And a Dreadnought. That's a very big card that I have not pulled before. A lot of people really, really hunting for this one. So, no, shiny ditto. But Suicune is really, really cool. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely wait it out because... There's so many cards there. When they come back, there's going to be especially base. Base cards, unlimited. If you're looking to try and get some cards graded at a good price, I would hang on because the market will be oversaturated, in my opinion. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. So, fairly decent day, really. We've got the two greedens, which near her over there. Suicune, Reshiram, amazing rare. Love that. Thwacky. Grimmsnarl VMAX and Ball Guy. So in terms of hits, that's a pretty, pretty good effort from Shining Fates. Whether or not we will see Hidden Fates do the same, you guys will have to wait until the next video. Thank you very much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed my rant and spout stuff and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.